So, the Ampere's law in a differential form it is curl of B equal to mu naught j. And in integral form, this is B dot d L is equal to mu naught times I enclosed. Now, this equation is perfect and is very useful in finding magnetic field due to some current distributions, but then uh, evaluating this integral, this is valid in all cases of uh, steady currents and all that, but then uh, evaluation of this integral may not be simple and for that certain kind of uh, symmetry requirements uh, are there so that we can evaluate this and if if current distributions have those symmetries then of course uh, it gives us results very easily the first thing we need is the direction of b the direction of b should be known uh, either by symmetry or uh, using bad severt law or in whatever way then only you can really work it out so um, some examples and uh, it will be clear so, the first example is uh, simple that we do in uh, class 12 that you have a long, long wire carrying a current I and you need a ma the magnetic field because of this at a point P at some distance let us say S. This is our z axis and S axis will be depending on P. Or drop a perpendicular from the field point P on the z axis and that is s direction. This is s direction, this is s direction and this distance is s. We had solved this problem completely, we know the result using bad severed law. Now, we can in this case we can apply this equation to get that uh, final result. First, we will have to know the direction of B and for that the simplest is to use the bad severt law d b is equal to mu naught by 4 pi and then uh, i d l and cross r minus r prime divided by r minus r prime q. We are only interested in knowing the direction magnitude we will get from here. So, for direction this is the vector which will give us direction. So, you take any element anywhere any element this is your d l vector because this is the direction of current. So, this is your d l vector and this r minus r prime vector is here from this point a where you are taking the element and then uh, join this point p and this is this r minus r prime vector. So, what we have to do take cross product. So, one vector is this way another vector is this way and then the cross product. So, you turn the first vector towards the second vector and then you can see that we are if it, if you assume it will be screw then we are going inside and therefore, the direction of this uh, cross product is perpendicular to the board and going inside and remember what direction is this this is s cap direction this is the direction of s this is z and then uh, it is s phi and z so going into the board is what is is z cross s right z cross s z cross s that will give you that direction and that is phi cap. So, this will be in the phi cap direction. The magnetic field due to this element is in phi cap direction and does not matter you take the element here or you take the element here or you take the element here is the same story is the same story. If you take it here if you take your a here this is the d l vector this is d l vector and this is the point then this will be r minus r prime a p 
AP this direction this direction and uh, DL is in this direction. So, once again if you do the cross product of this DL vector and this R minus R prime it is going into the board. So, the direction is phi cap direction from any element the direction is going inside the board and hence the net field is also inside the board. So, this is uh, this much preparation was needed before coming to this. Now, now to get the magnitude of this B here what we can do is we can draw a circle. You understand this circle is horizontal. So, half semicircle is here and half semi the other half is behind the board. So, this is a circle of this kind, this is a circle of this kind, this is the circle, here is our board, here is our board and this is the this is the wire, this is the wire, this is the current long straight wire and then this is the curve on which we will evaluate this ampere's law. And, uh, if you are here then this is s direction this is phi direction if you are here then this is s direction this is phi direction if you are here then this is s direction and this is phi direction so s and phi directions they will keep changing as you go from here 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 on this we will evaluate b dot dl and this uh, this circle is of that type is perpendicular to the z axis and a circle. So, now, since uh, it is all at same distance th all these are radii of the circle. So, and uh, you only have this current here mm, this is to be considered no other current is around. Therefore, the magnitude of B here should be same as magnitude here or magnitude here or magnitude here or magnitude here or magnitude here right. So, once again if you come to this if this is the current and this is a long current this is a long current then what is the difference between this point and this point why should magnetic field be larger here and smaller here they are all equidistance from this wire. So, the magnitude is same and the direction is phi cap. So, we can write this integration B dot d L as B vector is magnitude of B and phi cap. The direction of this is phi cap unit vector phi cap and the magnitude is B. So, this we can write this way and d L vector also is uh, in that same phi cap direction. If you are here then it is going like this, if you are here then it is going like this, if you are here it is going like this. So, d L vector is also hmm, these are the d L vectors, these are the d L vectors, d L vectors, d L vectors these are all in phi cap direction, they are all in phi cap direction. So, this d L vector also I can write as d L and phi cap. Then phi cap dot phi cap is 1 they are all unit vectors and so it is it is B magnitude of B and magnitude of d L. Now, magnitude of B is same everywhere on this circle and therefore, I can take it out from the integration it is constant it does not change the same b here same b here same b here same b here. So, this you can write as b taken out and it is d l and this is magnitude d l remember magnitude d l we have already taken the direction here. So, you what you have to add here d l length d l plus length d l plus length d l plus length d l plus length d l. So, if you do it uh, on this entire curve it will be just b times the perimeter of the circle 2 pi s, s is the radius, s is the radius of the circle this point is at a distance s and then uh, with this same radius we are we have drawn this circle. So, this is how the left hand side is evaluated. 
Now, the steps are very important. From the vectors, we have gone to the magnitudes and the magnitude is constant as you go along that uh, curve, along that circle. Therefore, we could take it out. This is, these things are important. Otherwise, if it is varying at different places, then this step will not do. So, this is our left hand side. What is right hand side? How much is the current crossing the area enclosed by the circle? And this is the positive side, this is the negative side. So, from negative side to positive side, how much current is crossing this area? Since there is only one wire and that is crossing and therefore, this is just I. So, the right hand side is the right hand side is mu naught times this current i whatever current is here and therefore, b is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi s and since we know the direction phi cap. So, b is mu naught i divided by 2 pi s phi cap. This result we had this magnitude we have gotten from our batch severed law. Okay. So, the integration has become very simple. The integration has become very simple that time we had all that uh, um, 3 by 2 and all powers and all that. Now, next example I can take is of the surface current. We talked about this if we have in x y plane large plane infinite plane and we have a current of this kind and the current density is given by k. So, if you take a perpendicular line here of length d l, then the current crossing this line that uh, d i that is k times d l that is how the k is defined. So, we had already solved this problem using bad severt law and uh, now we will do it using this Ampere's law and let us write the perspective of perspective of uh, y z plane. So, y direction is this, z direction is this and x direction is perpendicular like this. Okay. So, the entire surface on which the current is there is, is this is the surface, this is the surface and this is x y plane and in x direction we have current, in x direction we have current. Right. So, that current we denote by these points, by these uh, dots like this. So, this is a way to tell that the direction is perpendicular to the plane of the drawing. This is the plane of the drawing. So, the direction is perpendicular to this plane and it is coming out of this uh, plane. So, that is the meaning of these dots. If it is going inside, if something which has direction going inside the plane of the drawing, we denote that by crosses. You put crosses here and that tells that okay, the direction is going into the board. This is coming out of the board. So, that is the convention. Now, if, uh, if I if I want to know the let us say the the magnetic field due to this whole thing here at some point at some point. Then uh, and I want to use this uh, Ampere's law, I want to use this Ampere's law. So, I have to evaluate this integration and therefore, first I should know the direction. And for direction, once again we will make use of Bayard Severt law. And let us say this is the foot of perpendicular, and from this point you go some distance this side and look at this current here. Then you go same distance on the other side 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then look at this current here. These two currents you look at it. Now, what is the magnetic field due to this current? It is not isolated wires, this entire on this entire surface you have current. So, when I am writing this, I mean something like this, some small width here and some small width here. 
so with this much of strip of current what is the magnetic field here so this is this is the same situation as this long wire long wire and i am asking at some distance what is the magnetic field so here is a long wire here is a long wire coming like this in x direction small bit and then for that i am asking what is the direction of magnetic field here so we know from bad severs law we have done just now we have done that if this is the wire and here is the point then you connect it you connect it this way and then uh, your right hand thumb rule current the thumb should be in the direction of current it is coming out of the board and then the the fingers are curling this way the fingers are curling this way so it is perpendicular to this and fingers are curling this way so this will be db because of this and then uh, similar exercise with this current here the current is like this a strip narrow strip long current outside the board and inside the board also infinite length and because of this i need magnetic field here the direction of magnetic field here so once again once again we will put thumb in the direction of current and the finger should go here and the fingers are curling this way the fingers are curling this way so you join it you join it this way and then drop a perpendicular drop a perpendicular and these two which have equal magnitude and then the resultant of these two will be in this direction and this is the direction of b it is in minus j cap direction this was y axis so this direction is j cap and this direction is minus j cap do a similar exercise for points below points below this and there also you find that the direction of magnetic field will be now plus j cap the direction of b db will be like this so this is because of this one and this is because of this one and this is the resultant for these two for these two but this entire current can be divided in such pairs this pair this pair this pair this pair this pair this pair equidistant from this point and so because of the entire surface current also the magnetic field here is in minus j cap direction and similarly here similarly here combine everything and you get that the final magnetic field is in plus j cap directions this much we should know before we can apply ampere's law in integral form now come here now come here this is the equation this is the equation b dot dl is equal to mu not times i enclosed okay so once we have uh, worked out the direction i can remove all these things make neat and clean space and then i take a loop which is a line here then a line here then a line here and a line here right this is the loop and i put arrow here from this side looking from this side this is the loop which is anti clockwise so my this uh, area vector will be in this direction this is the positive direction and the space behind the blackboard will be the negative direction so we will work on this loop and here we will evaluate this b dot dl so start from here and look at this length all these points all these points are at the same height from this xy plane so whatever is the magnetic field here same magnitude here same magnitude here same magnitude here so for this entire length the direction of the magnetic field is constant minus j cap and the magnitude is also constant say capital b so this whole integral is this whole integral let me call it a b c d a b c d 
it's on AB. If I do it on AB first, so from here to here, B dot DL. Now we have worked out that uh, B is in this direction minus J cap, and DL is also in the same direction. So B dot DL is just in the magnitude of B and the magnitude of DL. So this I can write as B DL and B is same from here to here. So, it is B and then DL and if you add DL all these DLs what you get is this length AB. So, it is that length AB call it L. So, into L that is our on AB then comes BC on BC. So, on BC B dot DL Here B is in minus J cap direction, minus J cap direction we do not know the magnitude yet, but it is all in minus J cap direction right and D L is here this is D L this is D L. So, B dot D L will be 0. So, here this B dot D L will be 0 then comes C D then comes a C D on C D. So, if I look at this C D then uh, we have uh, DL is now see this is the arrow. So, this is the arrow and this is the arrow. So, DL is going this way, this way DL is going and below this XY plane the magnetic field is also in plus J cap direction, DL is also in plus J cap direction. So, the same rule, same rule for CD integration of uh, B dot DL is equal to B D L is equal to B into L and then on D A on D A this integration is 0 B dot D L is 0 not circle this on D A. So, on D A the, these are D L's this is D L this is D L this is D L this is D L and here the magnetic field is in this direction and here it is in this direction. Okay. So, on this it is uh, 0. Now, you add all 4, add all 4 A B, B C, C D, D A and that will be integration B dot D L on this entire loop, on this entire loop and that is B L plus B L plus 0 plus 0 and that is 2 times B into L. That is our left hand side. What is right hand side? Right hand side is mu naught times i enclosed. So, what is that i enclosed? Here is the loop, and remember the current is coming this way from behind the board, it is coming this way, and all these dots show that the current is coming out of the board. Now, all this current which is coming out this much current is crossing this area, area enclosed by the loop. Okay. This much current is crossing from the negative side to the positive side and it goes through this area. This is not going through the area, this is not going to through the area. So, it is this current and how much is this current? If the current is going in this direction surface current then the surface current density we define or perpendicular to that you take a line and k times d l will be will be the current. So, here this length is l from here to here the length is l and this length is perpendicular to the so current direction it is this length in y direction current is coming this way. So, this current will be which is uh, crossing this area will be just k times and then l k times l and these two are equal these two are equal. So, what you get you get 2 B l is equal to mu naught k times l l cancels out b is mu naught k by 2 and B vector 
is equal to mu naught k by 2 minus j cap minus j cap for points above the plane the, the that x y plane and this is mu naught k by 2 j cap for points below the below the x y plane. Okay, so that is how we can get this uh, magnetic field due to a uh, current surface current in x y plane. One more example I will talk and that is the solenoid, long solenoid. So, long solenoid. So, what is that? You have a coil essentially of some small width, small radius and then large number of turns very long and then the current is going like this is going like this and we assume in this for this derivation we will assume that it goes up to infinity and from each turn you have a current. So, that same current is going this way so that is called a solenoid or a coil long coil ok. So, like this from each turn you have this this current. Now, we want magnetic field due to this current uh, at points outside inside and so on. So, first thing is first thing is to describe this current current is I, but then uh, how many turns per unit length are there that is important. If you have a solenoid like this then the situation is different if this you have solenoid like this then the situation is different same current it may be same current all right. So, number of turns per unit length is an important parameter and that is let us say small n. Let small n is number of turns per unit length. Which length? Along the axis. of the solenoid. We are talking of this length. If this length is say delta L and then uh, the number of turns here to here is delta N, 1 turn, 2 turns, 3 turns, 4 turns, 5 turns. So, number of turns in this delta L length is delta N that small n is delta n over delta l. So, that is our small n number of turns per unit length and unit length means not along not this length not the length of the turns not the length of the wire it is the length along the axis. So, that is n. Now, if it is a long solenoid then uh, you take it that outside the magnetic field is 0. Not very simple to prove and therefore, I am avoiding the proof you take it granted that if it is a very very long solenoid then uh, the magnetic field outside here 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 will be 0 and it is the inside for which we have to work. You already know the result you already know the result you know that for a long solenoid the magnetic field is uh, is along the axis and the value is mu naught n i and that is in the direction of this uh, solenoid axis, but how do I derive that so, that will that is very important and that will give good practice of using this Ampere's law. So, outside we will take it to be 0 and inside the first task is to find the direction of the magnetic field because if we want to use if we want to use this b dot d l 
equal to mu naught times i n close to evaluate this integration to evaluate this integration I need the direction. So, B can be written as suppose I have a point here and I need magnetic field here. So, B can be written as B s s cap plus B phi phi cap plus B z z cap. So, first we have to look at these uh, components and see what can be the direction. So, we will work out from the symmetry and the result will be that this component has to be 0 and this component has to be 0 and it is only in the z direction. But beforehand we cannot say that we have to justify that. So, next class we will do that we will see that from the symmetry how can we tell what is the direction of this b and once we know the direction of b here then we will work out using ampere's law how much should be the magnetic field and you know the answer finally it will come out to be this next lecture